Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to explain extracting things in ZBrush. So for this, I'm going to load up the demo soldier here. Okay, make this big here. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete all the subtools. So I'm just going to select the subtool, press delete, and then just delete the rest here. So now we have this. So there's three ways to extract things inside of ZBrush. There's masking, hiding, and with layers. So I'm going to go one by one. So if we want to make different sub tools, which is the reason why you'd want to extract something, all you'd have to do is uh, mask off the area you want to be a separate object, and then we press extract. So let me show you guys. Uh, let's just make area right here, say a chest plate or something, and then we'll just press extract. And then afterwards we have a separate sub tool here going to move so I can move it out and then if you hold alt it um, pushes along the normals so let me just hold alt and do that and you see we've got our thing here but I don't think it's thick enough so let me delete it go over here we've still got our mask here because we haven't um, gotten rid of it yet we can just turn the thickness up here extract and there we have it so uh, that's all there is to it with uh, extracting by masking so let me just delete this here. Now, get rid of this mask, control and drag. Now we'll uh, go ahead and hide something. Let's say I want um, his, up to his shins to be hidden. So I'll press control, shift, drag up to right about there. And let's say I want to get rid of his feet. Let's just control, shift, drag. And then once we get right about there, let go of shift. Yeah, so you let go of shift to get that red and then whatever you want. So uh, just do that one more time just to show you guys. So control shift drag and then control shift drag, let go of shift. So now we have this, so we can just press the extract. Now we've got our shin guards or whatever you want to say. So let's say we've got our leg warmers here. We can mess around with, delete that. Now, uh, layers is pretty simple. Press Ctrl D a few times to get some more um, geometry. When you add a new layer, make sure that you're on the layer that you want the geometry, the amount of um, polygons you want to be on. Otherwise, if you put it at, um, if you make a layer at 30,000 polygons and you go up to a million polygons, the layer will be stuck at the 30,000 polygon level. So just make sure you add it to where you want. So let's go ahead and press New here. Let's go ahead and add. Let's go to Standard here. Go to drag a rectangle and let's add an alpha here. So let's add this arrow. Let's add it along his back here. Just drag it like this. You hold shift here. That's good enough. And here you can see you can change the intensity of it. Like if you want it to go in, you can have it go in. If you want it to go out, you can have it go out. But uh, one's good enough for me. Let's just get it close to there. So now all we have to do is again just change the thickness if we want to and then press make 3d now we'll go over to sub tool let's go into move here and then we can just move this out here and you can see we have our we have this here and uh, we have our sub tool here and if we want to get rid of this star here all we have to do is delete the layer oops sorry I think we have to turn it to zero then delete it yeah, okay. So now we have that, but we still have our sub tool here. So we'll just make visibility and everything on. And uh, yeah, so that's how you make your own sub tools by extracting from the original mesh in ZBrush. And you can make good clothes with this. And uh, that's pretty much there is to it. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and be sure to watch future tutorials. Alright, guys, thanks. Bye.